How you going guys? Steve here from Mega Music and today with my good friend Jeff and we are showing you an exciting bit of kit from Boss, the MS3 multi effects switcher. Now just at first glance Jeff it looks a bit like the ES5 or switches that I might have seen before but I'm gathering there's a whole lot more to it, yeah? Yeah, there is, Steve. It is a whole lot more. It's actually a fully functional multi-effects processor as well as a looper and switcher. Not only that, it's also got MIDI control capabilities, so you can plug in MIDI controllable effects as well. So what it means is that you can use effects that are built in like a ring modulator, a overdrive, compressor, delay, distortion, pretty much everything you would get in a GT series effects unit. Also, you can plug in your favorite pedals as well and control those and any MIDI pedals. So it pretty much gives you full control over everything you would want in a guitar rig. So Steve, you can see the MS3 is quite compact, but we've mounted on this custom pedal board to show you the kind of things that you can do with it in a real life situation. So I've got the expression pedal on the end. This is great if you want to use it to control one of the wire effects in there, or even things like controlling the level of an effect or your volume, or even things like switching the speed of a rotary speaker. We've also got the uh, FS7 there, which has two Foot switches on it that can be used for tap tempos on your delays, switching individual effects on and off. Um, so adds a lot of uh, a lot of features and a lot of power to the unit. And also you can see we've got our three pedals there, which are plugged in and can be switched in and out with the loops. All right, so let's have a closer look at what's actually inside the MS3. Yeah, let's do it. So as you can see, Steve, we've got a row of LEDs on the front here. Now these LEDs represent a block of effects inside the unit that we can use to build our sounds. I'll go into edit mode and we can have a closer look at what this means. So for our first block is FX1 and inside this we've got a whole bunch of different effects that we can choose and build into this spot. So moving along our next one is a dedicated modulation section and this has a bunch of modulation style effects built in. So next in the chain is where we can switch our external pedals in and out of the signal path. So L2, for example, is where my way huge source is connected, so I can actually switch that on, and that's now inserted into this signal path at that point. Moving along from there, we've got a noise reduction section. After that, a foot volume controller section. And then we've got another FX section, which has the same great range of effects as the first one, and also another dedicated modulation section, which once again has that same range of effects. So this really allows us to build a, quite a complex signal chain and use multiple effects on top of each other. After that we've got a dedicated delay section which has a whole range of delays from single to panning, stereo, multi-tap and a lot of control over that. And finally we've got our reverb section which has a great range of dedicated reverbs that we can incorporate. So when we've got a block selected, like our reverb here, we actually then have further ability to go in and edit the settings in that. So hit the enter key, and you'll see here there's three rotary dials. These correspond to the three dials on the front, and I can actually adjust the settings. So the time, the feedback, and the effects level. Up the top, you'll see there's a little tab with a one on it. This means there's actually more settings. I can scroll across, and you'll see there's actually more settings that I can access and adjust in the, in the second tab. So once I'm happy with the settings I've set in there, I can hit the exit key. And a really powerful feature is this chain is not limited to the way that's set up. I can actually now move my reverb to another place in the chain if I want to. So Steve, let's have a shot of building a sound. I thought we might use a chorus, use the Morning Glory pedal and a delay. Nice simple sound, but we'll see how it actually works. Cool. So we'll select the modulation section, select our chorus. So we'll have a listen to the dry sound. If I switch this block on, you'll hear that the chorus comes in. Now I want to go to the loop section and I can switch in loop one, which is my morning glory. I might want to move my modulation after my morning glory so I can go back select that and move it after the loops 
So let's add some delay. Go to the delay section, switch it on. Now I might want a bit more level there so I can hit enter and go in and edit that and turn my effects level up. So Jeff, we spoke earlier about there being the expression pedal and the foot switch connected to the MS3. Can you show us a bit about how you might use that? Yeah, sure Steve. Look, there's a heap of options. You can pretty much program them to do anything, control any parameters of the effects. But we've got some patches here we've set up to give some examples of the kind of thing you can do. The first one, we're going to use the expression pedal on the end to switch the rotary speaker setting from fast to slow. So we'll start with it slow. push forward it switches yeah, nice the, and fast the end. Yeah. yeah so Steve this next patch we've actually got a dual delay and we've got the expression pedal set up so that we can control the volume of the echoes and the FS7 is set up so we can tap in the tempo So this next patch, we've got the expression controller set up to control the gain on the distortion sound. that this has MIDI control capabilities as well, yeah? Yeah, Steve, it does. Um, I don't have any MIDI pedals here, but it actually is fully featured. So you can control things like patch changes, you can send control changes, so you could incorporate any MIDI controllable effects unit in as part of your rig and control it from the MS3. So Steve, there's a bunch of other things that we haven't gone through that this unit can do too. The MS3's got some great effects for acoustic guitar, so you could use that for a gig playing acoustic. Also, it's got some really fantastic dedicated bass effects that are actually tuned for frequencies for bass guitars. So it's a great tool for a bass player yeah. also. Okay, Jeff, well, we've seen that it's a dedicated multi-effects unit. You can use your own pedals in it, which I think is fantastic, and also fully controllable with foot switches connected and so forth. Anything you want to add? Yeah, look, we've hardly touched the surface of what this can do. It's incredibly versatile and flexible, but Probably my favourite thing is just that ability to add your own pedals. I mean, the Boss Multi Effects units are incredible. They've got fantastic effects built in, but quite often you have that one extra thing you want to add, and now you've got the ability to do it and actually incorporate it into the patches. To me, that's killer. So that's the Boss MS3 Multi Effects Switcher. If you're interested in learning a bit more about it, come and talk to us at a Mega Music Store, or you can pick one up online. Take care, guys.